Well, we are honoring veterans this week on Great Day Live and talking with active heroes today. And we're talking about a nonprofit charity that works with U.S. military service members, veterans, and their families to prevent suicide. The organization offers a number of programs and services at their 147 acre retreat in Shepherdsville. Joining me more with more on the great work that they are doing out there is Courtney Burden. I had a chance to, to meet many of the service members that take part in the activities and it it is amazing to hear just being outside and being yes. right like the it's good amazing. work that it does to and be with others to like heal i mean for people that may not be familiar talk about what happens um out of this this ranch area yes we have 147 acres so we are there to offer resources for veterans and military families maybe they just need to connect and they can come to the cabins they can stay in the cabins enjoy hiking trails and just spend some time um, getting back into the family unit there's lots of opportunities for just camaraderie and to just hang out with other veterans and we have a disc golf course so there's 18 hole disc golf course it's about five miles if you do the whole course so that's good and there are a, a just different events we can do so we have a Jeep Jamboree and we had over 150 Jeeps on site and everybody's just chatting and meeting each other and we're doing a flag retirement ceremony this Saturday actually please go to the mm -hmm. website to get some information on that. We just really want to put veterans with other veterans, give them a chance to know each other and count on each other because after you separate from the military, you have a need to still maintain relationships and mm -hmm. veterans, veterans with veterans, it's just a very special thing. And we are proud to provide those resources and we are proud to be a part of healing and you know, mental health looks different to everyone. And Active Heroes is here to serve resources and help in all the different ways. Well, you all help in so many ways. We, we hear do. so much about high suicide rates among veterans, yes. mental illness and turning to, you know, addiction and other fueling kind of like you said that emptiness yes. in other ways and this truly yes. kind of this provides that wonderful outlet for them it is it's remarkable and it's rewarding yes. for not only the volunteers but also the veterans mm -hmm. And so I just ask that people go to the website, activeheroes.org, find out how you can get involved, come be with us at a cookout or help us weed eat or just help us love on our veterans because that's what we're here for. We've seen a couple of pictures of um, everything, the way it looks at the retreat center. Mm -hmm. You have a pavilion there. Can that be rented out for certain events? If you do have people watching, you're like, oh my goodness, that would be wonderful to host this event or that event and honor veterans. Yes, the pavilion can be rented and that information is on the website. Um, Megan Jones with um, River's Edge is in charge of that and she's lovely and she'll be happy to give you a tour and offer some things we can uh, rentals come in a lot of different ways if it's a team building experience all the way up to a beautiful wedding we yeah. can accommodate all of those things yeah and you have what shack in the back barbecue in Fairdale hosting yes. a fundraiser in December for yes. you guys right Aren't they wonderful yes. we love shack in the back mm -hmm. those guys are awesome and we appreciate our partners community partners mean a lot to us and shack in the back they're wonderful so I'm super curious how you came to be involved with Act active heroes born and raised in this area I served six years in the military proud United States Navy veteran mm -hmm. And when I came home, I just had a feeling of um, I missed the camaraderie. I missed the people I served with. And it's really tough to get to know people and to have that same feeling when you're not surrounded by veterans. Yes. And so learning about Active Heroes, it just gives an avenue to not only have that fulfillment for myself, but work really hard to make sure others get that too. So again, I feel like there's so much that can be prevented and so many things we can do just by getting veterans around a campfire, yes. just by having an event and feeding a big group of veterans. A lot of good's coming from it, and, it, and it's just, again, it's rewarding, and I love it. Well, Courtney, thank you for your service. Absolutely. Right? And thank it's you for all pleasure. the great work that you're doing. Yes. And we will remind everybody, for more information, you can head to their website, activeheroes.org.